to continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving, saying, There was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded or respected man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterwards he said unto himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this would have troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by, lest by her, her continual coming, she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said, and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him. Though he bear long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. We must not cave in. Right. We must never cease to pray. Uh -huh. And if we have the habit of of not only talking to God, but of listening to God. Mm. We need to listen more than we talk. <laughs> we'll be able to withstand the crisis of life that comes to us. And Jesus here, he encouraged us to keep on keeping on in the matter of prayer. Look here at Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Now go 11. Now this is Jesus speaking. Again in verse 7. He says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you whom if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Mm -hmm. Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Amen. And so in conclusion, let me close with this. How long has it been, you don't have to answer anything, how long has it been since you examined your prayer life? Mm. Maybe it's a, it's a habit that you need to develop. Or maybe it's a habit that you just drop by the wayside. But whatever you see, the devil is your enemy, and he will do everything possible to keep you from the habit of prayer. And by doing so, he will impoverish you, he will cheat God, he'll rob others, he'll rob your good habits. But one thing about it, good habits will make you good. So give me your prayer.